Welcome to the tutorial video on Twine 2.3. In this video, I'm going to talk about the template system as part of Snowman 1.3. Underscore's template system, included as part of Snowman 1.3, gives authors the ability to use arbitrary JavaScript as well as interpolate functionality. This is incredibly important because it allows us to extend beyond just including JavaScript within a passage and then actually using it to include values in a passage. And this builds onto greater and more complex functionality. One of the most useful aspects of the template system is the following. The value is 12. Now, while this may seem like just simple text right here, this is using part of the interpolate functionality that's part of underscore's template system. That is, we can take a value and put it directly into a passage. This is incredibly useful because it acts like the print macro or text macro in Harlow or Sugarcube. That is, we can take a value and immediately turn it into text and put it into a passage. This also builds on a greater functionality I'm about to get to in just a moment. But to come back to this, values can be written directly into a passage using the interpolate function. This uses an extra equal sign after the initial opening tag, and I'll, we'll, we'll see that when we look at the code. Beyond this simple usage, it also allows for displaying or including passages and in others. This is an example of using what Harlow calls display and what Sugarcube calls include macros. That is, we can take another passage and put it into the current passage. This is the additional complexity that the interpolate as part of the template system of underscore allows us to do. That is, we can call effectively another passage. If it has its own code, that code will then be run, and then we can then return a value. This allows us then to not only break up our code into modular parts in JavaScript, but allows us to break up our story into modular parts within Twine and within passages. So we can break up passages into different parts, like we can within Harlow and Sugarcube, and then call or include those parts to do different things. And this allows us to do a lot of other fancier things and allows us to make complex projects where we're calling passages, including passages, as if they were sections of code and allows us a greater flexibility to do a number of different things. But to return back to this and the interpolate functionality as part of the template system, the ability to include other passages are, is proved right here. For example, look, more text. And again, when we look at the code here in just a moment, it'll look at, make a little more sense. But we're looking at interpolate functionality as part of the template system using underscore and snowman 1.3. So let's finally go look at all this code. So we see within the passage, writing values in the passage, we see the first use of the interpolate template system. Right here, it's extra equal sign. And we see right here, we're interpolating, that is, we're taking the value and directly putting it into the passage. Well, where was this defined? This was defined actually in the previous passage, right here, where I was running just arbitrary JavaScript within this. So this is an example of using a global S variable within Snowman. Snowman provides this global variable and allows us to create global values. So we created a global value escape variable as part of this global variable and we're running just arbitrary code within this template system right here. So we're saving some initial values we're going to use throughout the story, and they're global, which means we can access them within any JavaScript scope. Because again, as a reminder, when we run code like this, it runs within its own scope. That is its own little sandbox. So if we want values to exist across these, we have to put it in a higher scope or a more global scope, which the S variable allows us to do, and Snowman provides that for that reason. So we see here, we're establishing an initial variable and the next passage, we're using that variable and we're writing it directly into the passage itself. Again, very useful functionality. Moving down here, we're using additional functionality that Snowman provides. Snowman provides two global objects, window story and window passage, each of which do slightly different things but won't necessarily be covered within this video. The important aspect of this, however, is that we're using the passage function as part of window story to go get a passage. Then we're using render as part of that passage's object to render it, that is, get its HTML back. And then we're using interpolate as part of that to then show that directly in this passage. So this is that, again, coming back to that, what Harlow calls display, or what Sugarcube calls including. We're getting a passage via its name, we get an object, then we render it, that is turn it into HTML, and then we're immediately displaying that HTML right here within this passage. 
And again, this comes back to this idea of using display or include, as well as, as I mentioned before, the ability to immediately look in an object, another passage, and call it or use it as if it was code functionality or code a code module to do different things and this opens up a number of different ways to organize code not only as I mentioned before using different sections as JavaScript sections different sections of codes or classes or functions depending on how we want to look at things as well as also using the ability to break up a story into different passages that then be, can be included in each other in the same way that basically puts us on par with other story formats but but allows us a greater flexibility of working with different JavaScript code to approach things differently. So we see here we're using the template system and so we have to sort of keep in mind the code's a little different but the ideas are basically the same. We can include other passages in this passages as well includes the values directly in this passage all using the interpolate functionality as part of the template system and underscore which is part of snowman 1.3. Thanks for watching.